Okay, this question here, uh, we're asked to simplify the following. When you're asked to simplify um, a fraction like that, immediately you should just be thinking factorise. So this should be a nice easy question, part A. Factorise the top, so that should factorise with a 2x and an x. You want to multiply to negative 9, so it's, um, it's likely to be in ne uh, negative 3 and a positive 3, although it could be a 9 and a 1 in some form. But... Um, if we were to have here positive 3 and negative 3, that would give us the negative 9, and it would also give us the positive 3x, so that's good. And on the bottom, we're going to have a 2x here, and we're going to have an x here. We're trying to multiply to 6 and add to negative 7. So what we could have is we could have... Um, uh, A negative 2 here and a negative uh, 3 here and that would give us the negative 3x and negative 4x with negative 7 and multiply correctly so that's our factorized form absolutely fine like that we can divide top and bottom by the factor of 2x subtract 3 so we're left with the simplified form of x add 3 divided by x subtract 2 nice and easy like that Okay, hence we're asked for part B. Now, the, it doesn't say hence, actually, but you should notice straight away, this is the type of thing, the thinking you need. That term is that term there. And this term is this term there. So obviously, part A is going to help you if you can get some sort of division on the go. So let's see if we can do that. This is the equation we're given to solve. The natural logarithm, I'm going to might say from now on, Lun, 2x squared, add 3x, take away 9, is going to be equal to 2, add ln 2x squared, subtract 7x, add 6. Now, if I subtract this ln from both sides, if I have a ln 2x squared, add 3x, subtract 9, subtract ln 2x squared, subtract 7x, add 6, is equal to 2. I've just subtracted this term off both sides. Now the reason I've done that is because I know my log laws. My log laws say that log A take away log B is log A divided by B. So these two subtracted are the natural logarithm of 2x squared add 3x add 9 divided by 2x squared subtract 7x add 6. And that's going to be equal to 2. Now for part A, you've, you've seen a more simplified version of that. This is just this expression, x add 3 over x take away 2. So I can replace this with x add 3 over x subtract 2 is equal to 2. Now I can take the exponential of both sides. So that x add 3 over x take away 2 is going to be e squared. That's just taking exponentials, taking exponents of both sides. And so I want to find x. So x is currently on a numerator and denominator. Multiply both sides by x subtract 2. So x add 3 is going to equal to e squared multiplied by x subtract 2. So x add 3 is going to equal to e squared x take away 2 e squareds. Now get all the x's together and everything that's not x together. So I'm going to subtract e squared x from both sides. And at the same time, what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. Okay, so what that will do is I'll have my x staying here. Um, subtract e squared x is going to equal to negative 2 e squared take away 3. I can factorize x, so I have 1 minus 1 subtract e squared is negative 2 e squared take away 3. So x is going to be negative 2 e squared take away 3, all divided by 1 subtract e squared. Okay, and in the book you may see it like uh, if you had uh, multiplied, if you had done a different operation here and put all the x's to this side, you would have got um, 2e squared add 3 divided by e squared take away 1, which is just the same, it's just top and bottom have been multiplied by negative 1, which just doesn't change the fraction.